conflict. The first one of those is the Union of India versus Sri Haran, uh, the 2015 judgment, which deals with the nature of sentences in, uh, in certain cases, where seven questions were referred uh, to the Constitution bench. And especially uh, the question, one of the questions referred was with reference to the earlier judgment in Swami Sardhanand, where in cases uh, of, uh, of, of 302 IPC, whether there could be a situation where rather than, rather than imposing the penalty of sentence by death, could there be some, a lesser sentence which would be not, which would be a category that would be life imprisonment but for a certain minimum period and the convict would not be able to avail of the benefit of, remi of, of remission. So that was the limited, uh, on that question that the matter was referred to, one of the questions referred to the larger bench. And the constitution bench by majority held that after reviewing the earlier case law in Maruram and other earlier judgments, that for one life imprisonment means life imprisonment, imprisonment for the for your whole life. However, at the same time, they affirmed the view in Swami Shaddhanam and clarified that there could be a category of cases where the court could impose a punishment which would be imprisonment for life not less than 14 years and yet would not the, the person would not be entitled to seek remission so that view was upheld the view uh, expressed in swami sachidanand was also affirmed by a majority of 3 to 2 uh, additional questions were also answered uh, in that uh, judgment with regard to the power of the respective governments the appropriate government while exercising power of remission either under section 432 or 435 of the CRPC. And the court has held that two, two three important facets have been discussed in that. One is that even though the, the two powers of remission that is under the code of criminal procedure and the powers that may be available under the constitution under article 72 or article 161, they are exclusive in that sense. And even after the power has been exercised, perhaps, or the, has been invoked under Article 72 or 161, the appropriate government could still exercise the power of remission under Section 432 of the CRPC. As far as the question of primacy of the views of the central government vis-a-vis -vis the state government is concerned, the court has held that as far as those cases falling under section 432 sub clause 7 sub clause a the union government would have primacy while in all other cases it would be the state government that will be the appropriate government the court also clarified that under section 432 there is no sue moto power the the, the the provision will have to be invoked uh, by the uh, convict and it is not some power that can be invoked, invoked sue moto Lastly, on the scope of section 435 of the CRPC, court has also clarified that in those cases following under 435.1a to c, which are cases which uh, deal with certain offenses uh, relating to the union, it is the central government that uh, will have primacy and the union and, and the meaning of the word consultation that is used in uh, section 435 will mean concurrence drawing from earlier judgments that we have seen also in the context of uh, uh, the appointment of judges where consultation is used in article 124 of the constitution etc the court has been of the view the, king, the court came to the view that in the context of section 435 consultation must mean concurrence uh, in this context as well so Sri Aram is an important case for these, these aspects on the question of the nature of sentence that can be imposed as also the nature of the power of remission that can be exercised by respectively by the state government as well as the central government and their inter se uh, role in this process. The other judgment also on criminal law uh, is the constitution bench judgment 